Hey guys, Michael and Laura here. Today we're going to share with you a project and make two different cake toppers for you all. Yes, the materials we're going to use today are three millimeter cast acrylic. We're going to be using mirrored gold and dark blue. So let's hop on over to XCS to design our first cake topper. Okay, here we are in XCS and I have already connected to my P2 as you can see up here. So the first thing I need to do is enter some text on the screen. Let's say the word happy. And I'm gonna copy that, paste it, and anniversary. Next thing I need to do is change the font. I'm gonna change it to something that I use quite often that's nice and bubbly. There we go. So let me zoom in. With these letters separated, I need to join them. So I'm going to hit the weld button. Same thing over here, weld. Now these two are individual pieces. So what I want to do is now find out how do I want to merge them together so that they can stick to each other in a single, you know, cut out piece. So I'm going to shrink this a little bit more. Squish these in. I want to make that H attached to the A. This is really up to you on how you want to make this work. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm combining these and making these touch so that it's a more solid piece. And the more places I can make these join to each other, the better. As you can see here, I'm going to lose this dot of the eye. So I'm going to fix that here in a second. The first thing I'm going to do is select these two, combine and unite them. Now it's all one solid piece except for this dot. I'm going to make a new dot. But before I can do that, I need to get rid of this old one. So I'm going to select it. And zoom out, select them all. Combine, subtract. I'm going to make a new one. Insert circle. Insert one more. And using the keyboard, I'm going to move it down a little bit more. There we go. Now that that's overlapping, I can select them both. Combine and unite. There we go. Now it says happy anniversary. It's all one solid piece. Now since we're making a cake topper, I need to add a couple of uh, sticks to the bottom of this that we're going to stick into the cake. But before I do that, let's make sure this is the right width that I want to work with. The material we're working with, I know, is 300 millimeters wide. So I'm going to change this to millimeters. And I'm going to make this, let's say, about 270, 275. That's going to use almost a full sheet of acrylic. And let me zoom out and add some sticks down here below that we stick into the cake. I'm going to make these five millimeters wide and make two of them. Copy and paste. All right. With this all selected, how tall is this? This is about 204 millimeters high. I think that will be OK for our cake. If I wanted to stretch these, I could do that now. Here we go. That looks probably better. And let's make sure these sticks are in the center of this happy anniversary so that everything is centered. I'm going to group these. And then I'm going to arrange these so that they're all aligned horizontal. And as you can see here, this one fell in between two points. Let me ungroup it and just move these just a little bit more. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to stick inside of a cake. There we go. I think that's going to work well. Select them all, combine, and unite. Now I have my cutout ready to go. Let me rotate this 90 degrees so that it fits better on the honeycomb. Here we are looking in the P2 and I have the honeycomb installed. I can take the acrylic now and put it on top of the honeycomb. What I found is when the laser cuts through the acrylic, sometimes it will bounce off the honeycomb and discolor or even burn the backside of the acrylic. To get around that, 
I'm going to add some standoffs, which is basically three millimeter basswood and put the acrylic on top of these pieces. This will give me an air gap between the acrylic and the honeycomb, preventing the reflection of the laser onto the back of the acrylic. Because this is mirrored acrylic, XCS has a hard time seeing the height of this material. To get around that, you can take a sheet of paper, put it on top of the acrylic, and actually focus on top of the paper. Over right here in XCS, let me refresh the screen. I can see the paper on top of there. I'm going to use the aimed measure and measure to the top of that paper. That gives me the thickness based on the material inside the P2. With the paper removed, I'm going to refresh one more time. And I can zoom in and move my cutout to exactly where I want it to be based on the material inside the P2. If I want to make sure I'm at the top left corner, I can use the capture close view. Using the close up camera, I can make sure that everything's lined up properly. Now that I have everything set up and ready to go, I have to just make sure that my material is set to cut properly. I'm going to select cut and I'm going to adjust my power and speed based on the material I'm going to be cutting. Today, I'm going to be using 60% power and seven millimeters per second. I'm going to leave it at one pass. Everything's ready to go. I can hit process. Make sure this preview looks accurate. And as you see here, it does look accurate. And I can hit start. Finally, I can hit start on the P2 and watch the cutting process begin. Okay, we got this one finished up. Let's make our other one. Okay, as you can see, that one took eight minutes and 38 seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up a previously saved one that I made earlier today. Okay, this is the one I made earlier today. Our acrylic is inside. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh. And since this is not a mirrored acrylic, I don't need to put a piece of paper on top. It'll just measure. There we go, we get this where I want it. Looks good. Get my cut settings, make sure you have it on cut. And hit start. So normally we would keep the paper or the film on it until we're ready to use it. The longer you keep it on there, uh, the less chance you have of scratching the acrylic. But we're going to go ahead and peel these to show you what they look like. All right, we're all done with our cake toppers. I think they came out really great. I agree. I think these came out really good looking. So that's it for today's project. I appreciate everybody watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.